Welcome, today we're going to be taking a look at the Jason Browse Silent Soldier Hawkbill Edition. You can see the blade shape right in the Kydex sheath. This is the um, more of the Crambit style Hawkbill rather than the um, recurve version that he made some of. Let's take a look at the Kydex sheath first. It has a very nice texture on it. I'd kind of compare it to almost a lizard skin or something like that has two holes here for the ball and chain. These holes are a little bit smaller as well as do not have these rings in them, um, unlike the other versions, um, at least the Ranger version. So it can be kind of difficult to put the ball and chain in there quickly. Also comes with a very nice um, belt clip, can be removed with Torx screws or moved up there. Very nice, works great on the belts that I use. Um, let's show it on the 511 belt that I currently use, right here. You just take it, it will not go all the way over the belt, which it's not designed to. Simply slide it over like this. Very nice retention. You can see, I usually push it a little bit over this so it's a little bit like that you can see very close to the body very slim line shows no marking on my shirt and i'm an extremely thin person as you can probably see from my arm so you've gotten a nice look at the sheath let's check no rattle at all retention very positive snap. After that snap is completely free, free flowing. So there you go. Very easy to remove from the sheath. It is a little bit different on the different silent soldiers, which you guys can see in a different video. Let's take the sheath out of there. Um, some of the other silent soldiers are right here. You have, of course, the flipper as well as these versions. Okay, so you, of course, have the two finger holes. Um, this is going to be the one that you really use the most. This one is more of a palm placement. So there is one of the holds. I'm not going to show all of them, just three different ones. Of course, you can do that. Kind of like a tiger claw. And then this. This is a good way to break your pinky finger because if you put pressure on there, it puts all that pressure on your pinky and if you test it out, just push something like that, you can tell that will break your pinky pretty quickly. So you can see that very nice um, Hulk bill design. I like them a lot. Fantastic for opening boxes. You can use that to just go in and cut tape on boxes. Um, that's really all I do with this knife. Can't really carry it because it is, it looks much like a weapon. So this is really a stay at home knife. Very fun to play with though. On top you have the Browse Blades name. Very nice touch. Looks very nice. And of course you have the jimping with the line through it. Very functional as well as very pleasing to the eye. This is one of the thinner versions of the Silent Soldier. Of course, that will make it very nice at cutting. This has either, I don't remember the type of coating it has on it, but no sharp corners, very soft, or very smooth, and very well made. Of course, when you take it in and out of the Kydex sheath, it does leave some marks on it. And this actually was from cutting some cardboard. Very acute tip, as you can see there. Didn't come extremely sharp. However, if you have my Spyderco Ultra Fine Rod from the Spyderco Sharp Maker, you can simply glide it along the edge about five times on each side 
and you are good to go and it is hair popping sharp. Show that in the hand one more time, like that. This is a relatively short blade. Let's compare it to a Strider. Well, let's compare it next to a Swiss Army knife. Everybody knows the size of that. So there we go. You can see the blade similarities, at least in length. So definitely a small knife, but a very powerful one at that. So there you go. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys later. I'll be making more videos. I may try to use this for a water bottle cut test. That looks like a water bottle would be able to fit right in there. Yeah. Okay. Well, thanks. See you guys later. And have a great day.